In question 5, we can see that a 100 metre high flagpole is observed from two different locations. Uh, from point A over here, due south of the flagpole, uh, the angle of elevation of the top of the flagpole is 35 degrees. Uh, so basically, if you have a person standing here, they're looking up towards that flagpole right there at 35 degrees. Uh, and from point B, due east of uh, the flagpole, so the flagpole is here and due east of it is the point B and there's a person right here looking over that flagpole but at an angle elevation of 22 degrees. So, um, to just get your head around uh, how this diagram is constru constructed, you know that your uh, copper bearings are north, south, east, west, but just to bear in mind that um, when you draw these 3D diagrams that that copper spirit is now kind of seen at a um, angled view, so it looks like this rather than rather than this one here. Okay, so that that diagram is now kind of over here. Okay, so we're going to draw more of that later on, but let's just get started with how to actually read the diagram and uh, apply our skills of trigonometry to find what they want. So it says find correct the nearest meter the distance between a and B. So A and B are right here. They want us to find this length here. Now, to find uh, what that length is, what you've got to do is you've got to find these two edges that are part of the writing a triangle on the bottom. But in order to do that, we're going to actually um, use this triangle okay as well as this triangle here all right we're just going to take that out and we're going to find the bottom of those so we have an angle of 35 degrees uh we've got a flagpole whoops sorry we've got a flagpole um height of 100 meters and we want to find what ac is at the bottom okay so we've now got the opposite edge as well as the adjacent edge which means that we're now ready to use our tan of 35 equals to 100 over AC and what we do is we want to find AC right so we're going to swap around um, AC and tan 35 the AC is now 100 over tan 35 okay now for the other triangle this one here okay so in that triangle redraw that again whoops um, I've got 22 degrees here I've got the 100 meter flagpole up there and uh, CB at the bottom so my goal is to find CB CB is the adjacent edge to 22 degrees and opposite that is a hundred meters so again we're going to use tan ratio but we're going to do tan of 22 degrees this time we'll make that equal to 100 over CB and swap those two things around so CB equals to 100 over tan 22. So we've now got these two edges on the bottom. Okay, so again, I'm going to redraw that triangle on the bottom so you can see what I'm talking about. We've got ACB right there. And currently, as it stands, AC is this, which is 100 over tan 35. Whereas CB, which is this edge, or this edge, is 100 over tan 22. Okay, so if you want to find out what AB is, which is the hypotenuse, we're going to write AB squared equal to uh, AC squared plus CB squared, which is basically 100 over tan 35 all squared plus 100 over tan uh, 22 all squared. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the square root of it. So we're going to do the square root of both sides, and this will now go in inside. Now just bear in mind that when you type this in your calculator, whenever you type any trig ratios, it's going to automatically generate um, a bracket out uh, after you, you type tan. So it's going to look like this on your calculator, rather. But on um, your working out, you just leave it out like that. So I'm going to go ahead and type that right in. Just give me a second. 
So 100 over 10, 35 squared plus 100 over 10, 22. Okay, squared. Okay, so that, what that gets me is 285. 0.756 and so forth. Um, and so what they want us to do is find this correct to the nearest meter. So this is already in meters. And so they're asking us to find this um, to the nearest whole number. So that will be around 286 meters as that number is above five. Okay, and that's how you do question five. Let's have a look at the next question, which is question six. So for question six, a 15 meter flagpole stands on level ground. From point P due west of the flagpole, the angle elevation at the top of the pole is 38 degrees. From point Q due north of the flagpole, the flagpole has an angle of 25 degrees. Uh, find the distance of PQ, correct in one decimal place. Right, so what we're gonna do is this. Um, the thing is, when you draw the compass bearing, so north, um, east, south, and west, right, you're going to draw that 15 meter flagpole right on the center, right here, standing up, uh, and from point P, which is due west of the flagpole, the angle elevation of the top of the pole is 38 degrees. So we're going to go to the westerly side and we have to draw a line to the top of that flagpole and we just call that um, 38 degrees. Whereas if we continue reading it, it says that from point Q due north of the flagpole, the flagpole has an angle elevation of 25 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to go north of the flagpole right there. And there is a point there, which is point Q. I should write point P here, by the way. Uh, so point Q towards the up, uh, towards the uh, the top of the flagpole is 25 degrees. There you go. Uh, and then what they want you to find is the distance of PQ. Okay. What I'll do is also call um, the middle O for the origin. Okay. Oops, sorry again. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to join PQ, so it look like this, okay? So that's an orca looking triangle right now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn all of this uh, 180 degrees. So that means north is going to go here, east is going to go there, west is going to go there, and so forth, okay? So basically, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, it's like this, okay? I want to turn that uh, pyramid around so it's going to look um, straight at me. So it's going to be like this. Okay? So that north is on the bottom, east is on the left, and so forth. Okay? So how that's going to work is like this. I'm going to reduce this down so that space. Okay? So how I'm going to draw this is like this now. I'm going to have uh, north on the bottom, then east here, then south there, then west there. Okay, and then what that allows me to do is, so if I just read it again, you've got that 15 meter flagpole right there still. Okay, which I'll just write over here as well. Um, but the thing is, point P is due west of the flagpole, so west is this way, this P, and point Q is due north of the flagpole, which is towards this direction. And if I join PQ together, now the um, the bottom edge, this one, is now facing towards us, not away from us. Okay, so it's easier to read like this. Um, and the angles of elevation are 38 and 25 respectively, like that. So it's up to you which one you want to draw. Okay, I find this one better. Okay, so now that that's ready, we can now find out the distance PQ just by doing something similar to what we did before, okay? So all these angles here are nine degrees, okay? We can draw those here, here, and there also. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the 
two edges, which are here and here. Okay, so just from this triangle, if I wanted to find out the bottom edge, okay, and that's O, um, I can draw that out, and you can see that you have O, Q there, this is 25, and this is 15 meters. So we're going to find out what OQ is, which means we're going to use um, opposite over adjacent. Okay, so that's using the tan ratio. So tan of 25 would equal to 15 over OQ. Whereas if I now look at this triangle, which you can see here, that one there has an opposite edge to the angle of 15 whereas the adjacent edge is OP. So we're going to go and write tan of 38 is equal to 15 over OP. And we're going to swap these two things around so that OQ is equal to 15 over tan 25, whereas OP is equal to 15 over tan 38. So once we got those two edges, we've now got the um, oops. We've got the two edges that are perpendicular to each other on the bottom. So you've got 15 over 10 25, whereas over here it's 15 over 10 38. Okay, and so if you want to find out what uh, PQ is, the goal, you got to use Pythagoras theorem like how we did before. So PQ squared um, is equal to, you know, that squared plus that squared. But I'm going to go ahead and skip a step and write PQ is now going to be the square root of 15 over 10, 25, all squared, plus 15 over 10, 38, all squared. Okay, so I'm just using Pythagoras theorem here. Okay, so again, we're just going to type this in. Just bear with me. So 15 over 10, 25, we're going to square that, then plus uh, 15 over 10 of 38 squared, and I will get PQ uh, being approximately 37.5 meters, correct in one decimal place.